Hey, this is Dr. Story. What's the difference with chiropractic, whether it's trying to give you pain relief or long-term healing? Which one does it do? The answer is sometimes it does both. Now, not all the time. So here's what I want to get patients to understand sometimes because sometimes they come in, they're like, I just want pain relief. The answer is, what does pain relief actually mean? You have to understand that pain relief is a neurological blocking. So what that means is if I have something on my face that's damaged, if I cut my skin, there are sensory nerves, little fibers of nerves that sense the pain. The, pain, the nerves transmit pain up to my brain and my brain is the thing that actually interprets pain. So I, you, technically you don't really feel pain at your skin, you feel pain inside your brain, it's interpreted. So naturally if you have a high level of stress, if you have fear, the pain perception will be higher. So what should be a two out of 10 pain level actually might feel like a five out of 10 because of I might be scared, I might think that I'm gonna die, or I may be under a high level of stress and that increases your perception of pain. So in order to stop the pain, what you actually have to do is actually block the signals of the nerves that send the impulses up to the brain or you can stop the perception of the brain. This is usually done by chemical means. Obviously drugs work, but there's other ways of doing it. Second, if you actually want long-term improvement of the pain, what do you really need to do? You need to heal the tissue. Whenever there's tissue damage, you actually need to heal the tissue for the best long-term solution. So in the case of chiropractic, if someone has misalignments, damaged muscular tissue, damaged tendon tissue and ligament and joint capsule, you're never gonna get long-term pain relief unless you actually focus on healing that tissue. Now, how does healing occur? Remember in high school biology, mitosis, it happens one cell at a time. So what this means is we need to develop a, an environment where the tissue actually starts to grow one cell at a time. As time goes on, if we put the body in the right environment, meaning we give you exercise, we do adjustments, we stretch you, we do various uh, things to put your body in an environment where the chemistry will start to form new tissue and it'll form healthy tissue rather than unhealthy tissue. It'll change from damaged tissue to functional normal tissue. This can only happen one cell at a time. It does not happen overnight. The reason I'm saying this is because I have a patient uh, that I'm seeing early this morning. I saw last night and she comes in yesterday and says, I just want pain relief. I can't sleep. And it's like, well, guess what? We're not going to be able to do that today. We can't just instantly you know, all of a sudden make your pain go away and make it last forever because in order to get healing to occur, we need to put your body in an environment that allows the tissue to go through mitosis and regrow. That's how healing occurs. So if you thought this was interesting, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share this on social media because people really need to know this on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.